Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this rebuild the picture slide inside PowerPoint. Like always, you can download the file, the link is in the description. So here I am in the blank new document. I'm going to change the slide style to blank. I don't need any text boxes here. Go to insert tab and I will draw a rectangle using shape tool. I will modify the color, something like orange. I'm aiming here to make this brick wall fill. So our picture will be behind the brick wall. Okay, orange like this will be fine. And now no outline, that's right. And additional effect to give it some kind of 3D vibe, like a brick. Maybe this one over here, perfect. Okay, so we got our shape. Now we need to add the animation to it. We want to add the red animation, exit animation. So this will cause the shape to disappear. Maybe this one. And the most important part, we need to turn on the trigger. So on the click on this rectangle, the animation will start and the rectangle will disappear. That's the whole trick behind this. Let's test it out. So slideshow. I click on it and disappear. Perfect. Now we can simply duplicate the same shape multiple times to create a brick brick wall. So copy. And now I'm using the shortcut on my keyboard, command V or control V on Windows machine to just copy and paste the same brick. And now we are building this brick wall. I got the first row, I'm going to duplicate the whole row. As you can see, I put like extra brick at the end. That's what I need if I want to make it in the style of the brick wall. Okay, so select all of them in the same time. Now I can simply copy and paste. You can use shortcuts on your keyboard as well. So Command C, Command V or Control C, Control V on Windows computer. And here's the copy. I need to move it like this to got this brick wall vibe. It's why I need this extra brick in the first row. Okay, now I can delete this one already and simply copy two rows at the same time. So again, Command C, Command V, Command C, Command V. Okay, and this way we cover the whole area of the slide. Now I'm going to reposition this whole brick wall to be exactly in the middle. Now our bricks are covering the whole slide area. Let's do a quick test. Now I can click on this one disappear. Click on this one, disappear. So I'm selecting them with my mouse. It's exactly what we want. This way we can play some kind of reveal the picture game inside our slideshow. And if I hit here on the white area, white area, I will go to the next slide. Here is my picture, I copied it from internet, 
Now I will move it to a new slide, so I will create a new slide under the brick wall. Put my picture from the internet, the one I want to use in my game, over there. Before that I make a copy of it and I will hide this copy so I know this is my template. Cool, this is my template, I will go to use this one. Let's back to the blank slide, here I will paste the picture from the internet. I will stretch it to cover the whole slide area. Now I can copy this, copy and paste on the brick wall slide. Now simply right click and move to the back. Now the picture is hidden behind the brick wall. Let's duplicate this one. Unhide, I'm going to use this one. Okay, here it is. I will need blank slide behind it to reveal the picture. And here's the next picture, I copy it from internet. Now copy, paste here. Move to the back. Okay, we got two pictures ready to use. Take a look. And here I can just click on random brick and it will disappear. This way my audience, my students can guess what is in the picture. If I click in the area I revealed already, I will move to the next slide with the whole picture on it. Second one, you can destroy bricks one by one. And if you click on the brick you destroyed before in the blank area, you will move to the next slide with the whole picture. That's it. This way we can play this reveal the picture game directly inside the PowerPoint without any additional apps. Of course, you can modify this game. For example, you can double click on the shape, add numbers. This way you can ask your students, your viewers, to tell you which brick you should destroy next. You can add letters, you can add math formulas for them to solve if they want to destroy the certain brick. For younger learners you can even modify colors so they can call bricks by colors. Simply go to the formatting settings above and you can pick a new color for this shape. So you can modify this activity, you can use it as a warmer or maybe during the session to just take a break. And I suggest to use the pictures related to the topic of the lecture of the lesson. And that's it. Like always you can download the file, the link is in the description. If you found my video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in my next tutorial.